Ten minutes left, and I just noticed a colleague from the great Midwest just arrived. Congresswoman Kaptur, thank you so very much for joining us. I, I know you and I have had conversations about jobs, and I know that your part of the country is manufacturing center, used to be manufacturing center one. I guess the two of you can debate that. But <laughs> let's talk about these kinds of things. How do we restore American manufacturing? Well, Congressman Garamendi, I just want to say I thank you so very much. Uh, you're from the state of California, a state that's about uh, four times as large as ours, maybe five. Uh, we're 53 million people. We have uh, over 11 million people in Ohio. But uh, we are a state that has had to grow our way forward, to build our way forward for so many generations. Uh, we really aren't federally dependent in the sense that we don't have gigantic bases. We do have Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and we have the city of Columbus, our capital. But the rest of Ohio uh, has to either mine, and Congressman Wilson comes from a part of our state that actually supplies so much of the coal uh, that is shipped to our region and, and others. Uh, we either have to grow uh, in regions like mine. I represent a major agricultural region that uh, abuts Lake Erie southern shore, or we have to manufacture. Uh, we don't really have any choice. We have to create wealth, basically. And uh, what's been happening over our country uh, for, for many decades now is that we are amassing trillion-dollar trade deficits every year, uh, which means all that spending benefits someplace else. Ten percent of the goods that are exported from China go to one company, Walmart. Uh, they are bizarre for Chinese goods. And um, uh, we look at what you have pictures of up there, vehicles and uh, wind turbines. I was just through a part of my district where wind turbines are going up now. We'd like to manufacture them uh, as well as deploy them. And we are a solar capital of the Midwest, Toledo, Ohio, and northern Ohio. Uh, we're one of three centers on the continent, actually. People don't realize that we've built that off of our glass industry. And it is a new age for us. In fact, the largest solar field in Ohio was just dedicated in Upper Sandusky uh, recently. And I have bases in my district, uh, smaller bases, like the F-16 fighter wing and the um, uh, 983rd Engineering Battalion and our Camp Perry that have deployed solar fields. So we're trying to move our region into the new energy era. But it's tough. It's really tough because we are in such an unlevel global playing field, and other countries aren't open to our products, and there is no question that unless we reduce that trade deficit and stop outsourcing our jobs to China, Mexico, every other place in the world, we are not going to be able to create a strong middle class and maintain the middle class that we have today. So I want to commend you for doing this special order tonight. We know that our future lies in wealth creation, and it has to come from places like Ohio that have to stand on their own two feet and pull themselves up uh, with their bootstraps. I thank you so very much, uh, Congresswoman Kaptur, for joining us. The heart and soul of America's manufacturing sector was the Midwest, Ohio at one point was the strongest part of America's manufacturing economy. I know it can be restored. And right here in this area with, with the uh, rolling stock of America's transportation system, with the new technologies, whether the wind or turbine, if we use our tax money to support these industries rather than to support industries that are located in China or other countries, I think we can then provide the kind of, of uh, strength that will return to America once again in the manufacturing sector. We're nearly out of time, and this has been a great discussion. I just want to turn for a few moments to another colleague from California. We do think that we are the biggest part of the American economy, and a big part of it happens to be where uh, Congresswoman Watson lives, which is the entertainment industries. Congresswoman Watson, I think we're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, darn.